Hey everyone, it's Zach from Pro Sex Tips. Hopefully everyone's having a great holiday. New Year's Eve and New Year's Day is coming up. End of a decade. Time just keeps flying by. Um, today I'm going to show you how I map out um, a jazz head when I run out horn parts for it. And in this video I'm going to be doing Bessie's Blues by John Coltrane. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the horn part out for the soprano, the alto, and the tighter sax, and those are going to be the backing um, chords, comping chords um, behind um, my blues solo over Betsy's Blues. All right, let's go take a look at what I've written down. So here you can see, here's the title, who's this by, who's arranged by. And at the top, I have the um, concert ranges of each instrument that's going to be used in this horn. Um, comping section um, so soprano alto and tenor and below that is where I start writing out um, the chord changes as we go through so under the first chord when I write this out I start with the tenor uh, the lowest instrument and, and as you can see I have the root in the tenor I have the third in the alto and the seventh in the soprano and then we that's under the concert E flat and once we get to concert A flat 7 the tenor plays the third, the alto plays the seventh, and the soprano plays the root. And as you can see, there's no parallel motion um, going on here. The soprano goes from uh, D flat up to A flat, and the alto goes from G to G flat, and the tenor goes from E flat to A flat. And then we go back to E7, and, in, and as you can see, we have an anticipation note um, in the lead melody, which is that E flat which is the actual root of the next chord in the next measure. So I treat that as such. So um, everything's in anticipation into the E7. So we can see we have an E flat in the root in the bass. And then we go into a G, which is the third. And then the D flat, which is the seventh. And when we hit the downbeat of the E7 chord, the tenor goes from E flat to G and the alto is going to go from concert G to D flat and the soprano is going to go concert D flat to E flat. So no parallels going on in there as well. And then uh, E flat 7 goes again in the next measure and we have G in the bass, D in the alto and E flat. These are all concert keys in, in the soprano. And then I change the, the chord around a little bit on the third beat of the measure, an E flat in the t in the tenor, and a G in the alto, and a D flat in the soprano. And then let's go down to the A flat seven chord. We put the root in the tenor again, the third in the alto, and uh, we have the G flat, which is the seventh in the soprano. And a, se a flat seven continues on for one more measure. And I move the chord around a little bit, and we put the C in the tenor, the G flat in the alto, and the A flat in the soprano. And then we have the anticipation note again. And as you can see, we have we go back uh, to an E flat for the tenor, G flat for an alto, and D flat for the soprano, anticipating going into that E flat 7 chord. So we have a G, so that E flat in the tenor moves to a G, and the G flat in the alto moves to a D, and the D flat moves to an uh, E flat. And then um, I move the chord around again, and we have we go back to the E flat in the tenor, the G in the alto, and the D flat in the soprano. So we're in E flat one more time. We have an E flat in the tenor, a G in the alto, and a D flat in the soprano. And we kind of have an anticipation right at the very end of this measure, which is that G flat, which we're basically just doing a chromatic down into the B flat. You could look at it as a flat 13th of the B flat. I have a G in the tenor, D in the alto, and the E flat in soprano going into that B flat 7 chord. So now we have B flat in the tenor, which is the root, an F in the alto, which is the fifth, and then a D in the soprano, which is the third. And then I move the fifth to a seventh just to give it a little movement going into the A flat. So we have C in the tenor, the G flat in the alto, and the A flat in soprano. Then we go back to E flat again, and here's that chord again with the G in the bass, D in the alto, and the E flat is in the soprano. And then we come back to the B flat, 
once again, they're brought into the seventh, which is our A flat, and then the soprano is a D. So there's basic chords that you can put underneath there. If I had my Barry sax here, I would have done a four part. I did this quickly, put it together, didn't have much time to practice it, and all it is is the three part horn harmony behind me soloing over the changes of Bessie's Blues. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great new year. Thank mm -hmm. you.